The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media Video Podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast where we talk about stuff for web designers. And we're going to start a little change here on the podcast. Uh, I've been trying to be really even-handed about uh, doing Drupal stuff, Drupal content management system stuff one week, and regular HTML, Photoshop, non-Drupal stuff other weeks. I'm going to sort of give up on that. Uh, the reality is Mustard Seed Media is a Drupal shop. Uh, that's all we work in. So most weeks on this podcast now, uh, we are going to do Drupal stuff. Uh, so hopefully that's okay for most of the people that are listening uh, or watching, as the case may be. And uh, we're, we, you know, we'll, we'll jump into some HTML, CSS stuff once in a while. Uh, but it just seems like there's more, more to cover with Drupal. And uh, it's really what people are looking for uh, that I hear from anyway. If uh, you have a different opinion on that and you say, no, 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 don't do Drupal stuff, talk about X, Y, and Z, go to mustardcmedia.com slash podcast and comment on this episode and tell me uh, what you want us to cover uh, outside of Drupal. Uh, but today's episode is going to be Drupal. You can't stop that. It's too late. Um, so what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about building a custom homepage uh, using views blocks in Drupal. A lot of people say, hey, how do I make a homepage that isn't just the river of news that sort of comes with Drupal um, when you go to the default homepage? Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Last, uh, actually two weeks ago, we covered Views 2, uh, and we're going to be using Views to build our homepage. And this is going to be really ugly. Uh, I'm not going to build anything that looks very attractive. I'm going to just show you the methodology, uh, the mes- methodology of how to actually do it. So let's bust in, um, and the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to use the the default page content type as sort of a, a home page uh, for our site. Now, there's not probably going to be anything on it. Uh, we're just going to use it as a place to stick uh, blocks that views generates uh, for our home page uh, because we don't want it to be that default river of news. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a regular home page. I'm just going to call it home. I'm not even going to put anything in the body. Uh, and I'm going to save it. Exciting stuff. Uh, now, if you have Path Auto, you'll want to remember the path. I don't have Path Auto on right now. So I just want to remember Node 26 is going to be my home page. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my site information. This is under site configuration, site information. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and change the default node instead to my home page node which uh, in my case is node 26. I'm going to save that configuration. You'll see what that did is now if we go to our home page, it is now uh, that home, uh, that page content type I just created uh, for the home page. But like I said, there's nothing on it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this to stick blocks in this uh, on this page. We're not going to, I mean, you could, you could go ahead and put, uh, you could edit and put in some static text, put in images, do whatever you wanted. Uh, but for today's demonstration, we're just going to use it as a placeholder uh, for our blocks. So last, uh, two weeks ago in uh, the podcast, we used Views 2 and we created a bunch of stuff. Uh, what I did here is I pre-created the views we're going to use just so I didn't spend time doing it. And all it is is a standard view. Uh, with uh, four different blocks. And these are going to be the four blocks that make up my very ugly homepage. Um, So the first three blocks, as you look through them, are pretty much identical. The only difference is, uh, actually there really is no difference. There's no practical difference. I just created three blocks of content. Uh, You'll see I did five uh, items in each. Uh, I'm showing the title and the post date, and I made it a list, and that's it. The last one I made uh, just one item display and I made it a node teaser just so you could see how to you know maybe play something a little bit different there. Uh, so I created this view and this generated me uh, four different blocks. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our blocks homepage. We're going to find those four blocks which I named home three, home two, home one, and then home teaser. Now you'll see what I did is I'm putting them in the content region. Now depending on the theme you have, this is going to be called something different. 
Uh, most themes by default is just called content. Um, I put mine in the content top and bottom. It doesn't matter. I could have put these all in the content top. Um, but the idea is that you're going to put them in this main content region uh, on your site. So I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. And then what I'm going to do, uh, and you'll see they're showing up there now. So these are the, my three blocks. And if we go down to the bottom, here's my teaser block. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and I'm going to configure these blocks one at a time. And what I'm going to do on each of them, I'll give them a title. But then I'm going to make them only show on the front page. This little thing right here is Drupal shorthand for whatever is the front page. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to do the same to the other blocks. OK, and there we go. So now I have all three blocks uh, showing only on the front page. I'm going to save this last block. Now let's go to our home page. Uh, you'll see this is what it was before. I'll refresh. And we now have our four blocks listed on the home page. It's a good start. So now all we do is from here, it's just CSS magic. Uh, I'm going to open up my CSS editor. And uh, it's really helpful if you have Firebug installed in Firefox. So I'm going to find the name of these blocks. And you'll see right here, here's the ID. Uh, but what I'm actually going to do is... Uh, Basically, because these are blocks, they will all have a class of just block. So they'll all have a class of block that I can I can uh, manipulate. Now, depending on it, so you might have to target your blocks individually. Um, I'm not going to. I'm just going to grab uh, my content top ID, which is the region it's in. If I could spell. And I'm going to say block. This is going to affect those three blocks that I put in the uh, top content. I'm going to put their width at 33%. Uh, and I'm going to float them left. And let's refresh and see what that did. So now we've just laid out our three blocks across the center of the home page. And this is actually uh, pretty much how I want my, my home to look. Um, you know, I could probably get rid of the title. I could make it not a list. I could do all kinds of stuff. But if we log out so we can actually see what this looks like without all the administration stuff, we'll see that generally, I mean, granted, like I said, it's pretty ugly, but we are starting to have the semblance of some kind of list on our home page that isn't just a river of news. So we can have three blocks across here. Uh, we could have a long block. We could put some content in the top. Uh, we could do whatever we want, but the idea is that you're taking blocks and you're sticking them on the home page. Uh, that'll help you really style your home page custom. Uh, a really great thing to do here, although it's not available for Drupal 6 yet, which is why I didn't use it, is to use the module called Panels. Uh, this make, means that basically you don't have to do all the CSS styling. It allows you to just stick blocks into, a, into different regions uh, and you're pretty much done. So hopefully that was helpful. I think it's just a philosophy thing to see how it's done. Uh, and from here on out, you can just sort of play with it and go nuts. Uh, that's how I build my home pages. Uh, other people may do things completely different. Uh, but hopefully that helps you and gives you some ideas on how to start building custom home pages using Drupal. Uh, as always, check out my audio podcast, geeksandgod.com, and comment on this episode at mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast. That is all. We will see you next week.